Love, 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 and more love, and then some more love, until it envelops us all, until it raises us to the highest form of existence, the highest vibration in this three-dimensional state, a form form, things that seem physical, seem physical to touch, seem physical to sight. But in actuality, is only energy, energy. It's all energy. Now I'm making this video and it took me a year and a half of just observing to even make this video, to even have the downloads from the cosmos, to even talk about this video. It took me a year, a year and a half, ladies and gentlemen, to get out of my root chakra I'm just being honest. I had to sacrifice so many physical things, so many physical relationships, so many emotions. For some of you would probably view as so many setbacks. I had to reprogram. I had to reprogram my subconscious. I had to become one with myself and one with all that there is. <laughs> and I laugh not at your ignorance to all that is and your ignorance on how you view man. I laugh because I get joy for my inner being to know it, to know it, to know that all is energy, to know that I am limitlessness, to know that I lack Nothing, not even in this three-dimensional form-driven reality that a lot of humans in 2016 call the matrix. This is a dimension that is being suppressed and ruled against by non-human entities who are Created from the same energy as everything, everything that you could phantom, everything that you can imagine, everything that you call existence right now while you're watching this video is created with the same energy. The reason why we're having so many problems and I say we as humanity, we have so many problems in the three dimensional realm because we look at this three dimensional realm, a lot of you, no matter what you say, no matter who you portray to be, no matter who your ego, this uh, creation that you've created, and it's okay, I'm far from good and bad and right and wrong. It's okay. But this, this creation of yours, this creation that exists in your universe, your imagination, your reality, right, is keeping you grounded in your root chakra, which is a survival mode chakra. It's a low, low three-dimensional vibrational energy. And when I see brothers and sisters 
or you white people or Indians or Arabs, if you're still stuck in that box, if you're still stuck in color and race and power and dominion over the three, the three dimensional realm, then you have not yet evolved. It's okay to speak about it and know what's going on. I'm not naive. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. But because my existence, right? I'm grounded in a higher reality. And I'm only illuminating here over this platform, right? It's a holographic image of myself. I'm no longer grounded in three dimensional things. They no longer reside in my heart, my heart chakra. I can come visit, I can explore, I can express myself, I can create, I can manifest, I can love, I can test and try all different kinds of energies. I can sit in low vibrational energies, I can sit in high vibration energies, and it's an experience, an amazing experience being here but I am no longer in the box of this platform I've graduated I'm free I'm not in any boxes I'm able to roam and explore the cosmos and the universe which reside in me I have no lack because I'm a part of the universe all that exists I'm milliseconds away from transferring my awareness from the three-dimensional now to another frequency, right? And attracting higher vibrating energies into my reality. So I lack nothing. Anything I desire, anything that I will, right? Anything. I shall have it. Why don't I, why don't I have airplanes and big mansions and 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 five million dollars in cash sitting on my table here? <laughs> because I don't desire that. I don't want to be responsible right now in this time for all of that energy that you seek, that you desire, right? That you will go as far as to put out my light, to take it if it was sitting on this table. I don't need the, that energy for money to identify who I am. All I need is all I have. All I need is my joy. All I have to do is sit in my joy. All I have to do is love you for who you are. You are energy. You are at times low vibrating energy, right? Which shakes up and rattles and vibrates erratically sometimes, but that's okay. You'll fine tune it in your time. But the reason why all of these beautiful energy filled people are bumping heads and arguing and backbiting and mocking and murmuring is because you're grounded no matter what you say. No matter what you say. Yes, you are very intelligent. Yes, you have a lot of information about the history of where the melanin man came from and formed in this three-dimensional realm. Yes, you do. I love to listen to it. I download, I download I'm sorry, a lot of you, your programs are very, very useful. Yes, it helps when you're grounded in the three-dimensional realm to know exactly what's going on. But now when you talk about the solution and how we're going to get out of the matrix, right? How we're going to get out of this, this reality, the only way out, the only way out. And some of you already know this. Some of you have already experienced it. 
the only way out of this dimension is love. You have to learn how to love those who hate you. It has nothing to do with the power over the earth. Mother Earth is her own entity. Mother Earth controls herself. We are nothing but little fleas and ticks irritating her at times. And when she shakes and gets tired of it, right, she puts out the light. And we come back in different forms of life from different cosmic energies from all over the universe based on your frequency, based on my phone is ringing, my tether, <laughs> my three dimensional tether, which I only turn on for like a half hour a day for these reasons. See how distracting that is? But ladies and gentlemen, we'll never get along. There will never, ever, 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 ever in this dimension, which I don't know how long this third dimensional ram will exist. You see, don't you know? Have you heard? We're all shifting from three dimensional to fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional beings. Those of you who have the awareness should not even be concerned right now with three dimensional things, <laughs> with three dimensional dominion. Why would you want to rule on a three dimensional plane when you can have existence, your part, your stay? It's a part of you anyway. In a six dimensional realm, where there's no death, where there's no money, where there's no time, where it's all thought response, if you think about it, and it's said, you believe it and you are. Why would you fight amongst each other? Why would you extract all of this energy that's inside of you and give that energy to? High, high, high levels of awareness. I like to call them when I think about them and I look at them now. Parasites. That feed off of your energy in this three-dimensional realm. They're just outside the three-dimensional realm. They're trapped between three and four. I'm talking about dimensions. This platform that we're on right now, they created with their awareness, artificial intelligence. They exist through your energy and my energy. And when we fight and we hate and we lust and we do these low vibrational things, we give them light. This is their platform. Why would you want to take over and, and rule over such low vibrating entities here in the 3D? This dimension is for you to remember who you are. This is the physical dimension so that we don't blow up the whole dimension with our thoughts. We are thought responsive beings. We are our thoughts. We are not this physical body. We are thoughts. Our universe is our imagination. We are pure energy, aware of all. All, all that exists. It's very, very hard to decode the universe in such a dense reality as I sit here. I have to vibrate and come down so low just to communicate with you in this very limited English form. Why do you put so much of your energy into books? that were written with the intellect of the three-dimensional man who know nothing outside the third dimension. The body can't even go outside the third dimension. 
The ego cannot go outside of the third dimension. So you argue, you squabble, you kill, you mock, you hate because of three dimensional, very dense, very limited vibrational things. When you have the whole cosmos to explore, but yet you stay grounded here, but yet you put your heart into these platforms. So the artificial intelligence raise you up as gods here in the three dimensional realm. All eyes see you on this platform, which affects you, which feeds you, which gives you more of this three dimensional, dense, low vibrational energy, which you begin to feed off of, which you are grounded in your root chakra from this energy. <laughs> this very low, dense, vibrating energy. You are, you are grounded. By your root chakra and your sacral chakra. That's why you care so much about color and money and houses and cars. That's why you can't get out of this survival mode that you're in. And I say again, yes, you are beautiful. Yes, you are very intelligent. Yes, you know all of these books that you have written and you have downloaded. But all it, all it takes... And they're here now. Is one soul to come from the cosmos and come into this reality? It could be five years old, six years old. There's no time in the cosmos. Do you understand that? So I don't care if you've been enlightened, quote unquote, 30 years here. <laughs> time is an illusion which sits inside of my awareness. My awareness created time. Time can't exist without awareness. Who are you? You are, must I tell you, awareness. You are a part of the divine presence, the first creator, which is not human. <laughs> we are not created in the divine presence energy, but we are that divine presence. We are all little micro, whatever you want to call it of that divine presence and we exist all as one in our higher, higher, highest form. And you have to visit that form before you can understand why nobody actually gets killed and why there's no such thing as death and why there's no such thing as right and wrong. You have to raise up high enough to, th to see things as the divine presence. We are all one. We just seem separated because of the physical low vibration, dense, third dimensional holographic reality that we all were once trapped in. Trapped by religion, trapped by color, trapped by status, trapped by gender, trapped by hate, trapped by greed. There's enough here for everyone. If we would just learn, you have to learn. You have to learn how to love. The love that cast away all fear. Once you get rid of fear, you won't care about color. You fear each other. You wrestle not against flesh and blood. But what? Hi, hi. I see him all the time. Hi. High awareness. Principality. Spirits. The war is not being fought in the third dimension. The war is being fought in higher dimensions for your awareness. For your awareness, for your energy. Love. Love. Love.